Hey guys, I thought I'd do, just randomly, just now, I thought I would vlog. Um, going to the store, 10 days into social distancing. It's the first time been to the store since a week ago Sunday. It's Tuesday now. I have a little time because the kids um, are with their dad. So I just wanted to come to the store not with them because I just limiting the exposure <laughs> they touch everything i'm honestly not personally panicky about it but i'm just trying to be smart be careful really needed produce today so that's what i'm coming for mainly but i also am just gonna let myself shop um the parking lot doesn't seem that crazy and they've implemented some social distancing suggestions so i think I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. I feel awkward filming in a grocery store. I don't know, especially during these times, people are a little bit tense. So I'm just gonna take you in briefly and I'll talk you through what I see while I'm there. My experience with this is the first time, like I said, I've been really anywhere in 10 days, but to a store or anything like that. Um, I just, I kind of wanted to just document this for myself and my kids to remember what this time was like. Um, it's really weird time. All right, let's go shopping. 20 minutes later. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm covering the microphone. This is weird. I'm used to vlogging on a camera, not a phone. I gotta remember to look here. Okay, so I just got in the car. I sanitized the hat. Sanitized? I sanitized. Can we make a new word? I sanitized. I sanitized the heck out of my hands. It's hard to remember to look there and look at yourself. Um. The store experience was very smooth. There was not very many people in there. My Whole Foods was very well stocked. The only thing that was really lacking was the bread aisle, but I managed to score three more loaves of bread to put in our freezer, which makes me very happy. And the freezer aisle, the frozen ice cream and the frozen veggies were pretty low, low on stock, but they were actually unloading i think they the guy said he had like four big pallets full of frozen stuff so i actually managed to get my dairy free ice cream my ben and jerry's obviously priorities and um two huge bags of frozen broccoli because that's literally the only vegetable my children actually will like like to eat i'm like all right if you gotta pick a veg we'll pick broccoli that's fine but everything else was well stocked everybody was being very careful and considerate not to get too close to each other. I noticed maybe about, I would say 60 to 70 percent of people shopping in the store were wearing either um, rubber gloves or face masks or some combination thereof. I noticed maybe just a couple employees wearing face masks, but most of them, I think all of them were wearing gloves, which I'm guessing was is mandated by um, Whole Foods. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll take you home and give you a little grocery haul. I'm like so hesitant to show because I know people are so judgmental about food, but I just think I want to remember what I've been buying at this time. Um, I just, like I said, our non-perishables and freezer stuff are really well stocked. I've got plenty of frozen, um, things and, and, and like canned things. I just supplemented a little bit and I bought some kind of random things too just while I was there. So let's go home. We'll do a little food haul and um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, y'all, I'm home. I'm gonna show you everything I bought at Whole Foods today. Just one more time, I'm gonna ask, please, please keep your judgy judgments to yourself if you have any. It's totally cool to have them. Uh, I bought the things that I thought we needed to get us through another 10 to 14 days. Like I said, we got plenty in the freezer. We've got lots in the cupboard. I just supplemented mostly with fresh foods and some things that we were running low on. Some things were on sale and I bought a bunch and some things have long expiration dates that I know we will use that we just mean I don't have to go back to Whole Foods necessarily to get produce next time. Maybe I could go to a different store because some of these things I can only get at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna show you. All right, here's the whole lot. Yes, it's a lot. Like I said, haven't been to the grocery store in 10 days. My main purpose for going was for these things right here. So I bought some Zumo Citrus and a whole lot of avocados and bananas. Grapes, we have one bag of grapes, but those stay good in the fridge for a while as long as they're, you know, not 
if in good shape. Um, the raspberries were on sale, cherry tomatoes, um, and some little tomatoes that my kids like. A couple of watermelons and another cantaloupe because those stay good for a while on the counter. And then when you chop them up and put them in the fridge, they stay good for a while. And then more baby cucumbers. We go through so many baby cucumbers in this house. Um, we have a few left in the fridge. So uh, another week's worth basically of cucumbers. I bought three huge tubs of our hummus. We probably eat one tub of that a week. So, and we have a like a half of a tub in the fridge already. So we have enough now for a few weeks, but this is one of those things that I haven't been able to find at other stores. And my kids only like this hummus for some reason. I don't know, this is their favorite. It's really good. I know how to make hummus. I have the supplies to make hummus, but they really like that. And it was on sale, so I bought it. Um, a big thing of the almond milk yogurt I like, dairy-free. The butter was on sale, so now we are well stocked on butter. The kids do eat real butter. I, I do not anymore. Um, another thing of cheese. Now we have lots of that. That's My kids love grilled cheese. This is our favorite tortellini. It's dairy-free, actually. Um, so that's good till mid-late April. And I have another one of these in the fridge. So every other week I'll make that for dinner. So space it out. I got some pizza dough so we could have a fun pizza night. I think probably Friday. This says it's good until the end of the week. So I think that's when we'll do that. And for fun, I bought some of these um, bake it, you know, I don't know what to call them. Ready to bake things that I thought the kids would have fun making with me. I bought some tofu because it's something I forgot to get on my initial run 10 days ago um, to stock up on stuff. And um, I've been wishing I had tofu. And I bought a ridiculous amount of my favorite dairy-free ice cream because mama needs ice cream right now, okay? The kids like these little ice cream sandwiches, which I had plenty of. I bought myself some roses. They were on sale, two bunches for $8. So I was like, heck yeah. So I'm still using, or not using, I'm still loving the flowers for, that I bought from Trader Joe's last week. They started fading though. So I was like, all right, treat yourself. I got some more of our favorite Oat based beverages, Oatly Oat Milk, and then the barista I use in my coffee. These have long expiration dates. So even though I have a couple of these in the fridge already, these will last until mid June. So, and I, we will consume them. So that works. The kids really like this popcorn. So I bought a bag of that for fun. I got some salmon to make dinner tomorrow. And then I bought the bread, like I said, was one of the things I didn't have a lot of, but they happen to have my favorite brand. They just didn't, this is the one I usually buy, um, but they only had one of those. So I bought two different kinds of loaves too, and I'm gonna put all of those in the freezer. We go through a loaf of bread every two to three days, um, basically. So I think I'm down to two loaves in the freezer. So this makes me happy because now I don't have to worry about bread for another couple of weeks at least. And then I bought this for fun to make French toast for the kids this weekend um, as a fun breakfast option. I bought some more canned garbanzo beans, otherwise known as chickpeas, um, because it's something that I consume a lot and I have some in the pantry, but I just, again, don't want to have to run to the store in a while. Some olives for my pizza, because I'm going to make pizza too. Um, I bought barbecue sauce because of and this avocado oil because of a recipe I saw Christopher Allen my dear friend, who's also one of my favorite YouTubers, um, made this barbecue chickpea on the stove. And I just don't happen to have barbecue sauce on hand. So I thought I'd make that actually for, um, you know, to have a little something for myself. I bought a couple of bottles of wine. This is my current favorite. It's on sale for like eight or nine bucks right now, the Bogle Chardonnay. I'm not a huge drinker, but... Um, I feel like I've been pouring myself a glass of wine a little bit more than usual. I'll talk about that in a second. I, I don't drink every day, but I don't know, man, these are stressful, stressful times. And then we get into the, the oh, I did buy another bottle of the kids' vitamins because we just opened the last bottle I have of the, in the pantry. So I just like, that's what I do anyway. I always have a bottle of these in reserve of all of our vitamins for when we eventually run out of our vitamins. Um, and we... I just opened a new bottle for the kids, so I needed to get another bottle. So it's something I would have done anyway. I would not have bought two huge bags of Epsom salts when I already have a full back upstairs, but again, like the wine, mama needs her baths right now. And speaking of which, I bought a whole bunch of Pacha 
bath bombs, um, and I wanted to keep them separate from the food, and they only had these plastic bags and not the little paper bags, so that's what we did. And then, clearly, we need the chocolate. This was total impulse purchase. And I have my wipes here. I wiped everything down. I sanitized my hands. I washed my hands. And now I gotta put everything away. Oh, lastly, I bought these ridiculously overpriced chocolate bunnies. These are really high quality chocolate for the kids' um, Easter baskets. Okay, I'll try not to jostle this. I'm not used to vlogging on my camera, on my phone camera. So I apologize for quality or sound differences. I just, like I said, I wanted to document this time a little bit more. That's why I've been vlogging a bit more. I have been just scarred emotionally from sharing food and what I eat sorts of things in the past. And I made a decision like early, I think it was earlier last year that I just wasn't going to share or mid last year. I don't know. It was some time ago last year. I decided I was not going to share what I eat or what I buy to feed myself or my children anymore because the judgy judgmental people were just bringing me down. I was like, I don't need this. So I'm just not going to share it. But this is something I want to remember because this is a big part of life right now is having food in your house because we're not going out. We're not, I, I usually go to the store two, three times a week. And like I said, it's, now it's once every other week, you know, that's, that's a big difference for me. Um, and my family, we usually go out to eat. We usually do, you know, lots of those sorts of things. So um, it's just something I wanted to, um, keep in mind for myself and also just kind of preserve document. Uh, in regards to the wine drinking, I don't want it to sound like I've suddenly turned into a big drinker. I have not been a big drinker, um, really ever, but especially I feel like I drink so little now since having kids. I maybe have a glass of wine at home once a week. And if I go out to eat, I'll have either a glass of wine or a dirty martini, which is my favorite, but I only have one and I don't do that very often. So I'm, I'm not, a, I'm like a one drink a week kind of gal. I feel like since in the last 10 days, I've poured myself a glass of wine and this is well after the kids are asleep and everybody's, you know, packed in for the day, maybe three times, which is a lot more than I usually do. I don't feel like I'm using it as a crutch or that I'm falling into any habits that I'm worried about, but I feel like I'm letting myself have a little bit more to just help me decompress because this is really stressful. Let's just say it, I mean, it is for everybody and I know, I know I am privileged up my tushy. Like I got privilege coming out of every pore of my body and I see that and I know it and I feel it every day. And I'm grateful that I am blessed. I don't know, that sounds like the wrong word. Not that people who aren't privileged aren't blessed, but I, I am appreciative of my, my privileges, right? That I can afford all this ridiculously overpriced food from Whole Foods, that I can stock my pantry and my freezer and for my family that I can take care of us in this way without having to worry. Like I know how privileged I am. Um, and I, you know, I'm doing my, my best to keep myself in check with that, especially in, in these times and share where I can donating to my local food bank, donating to Together Rising that is helping families like private families who are struggling with all of this. Um, but regardless, it does not mean that I am not stressed like everybody else. So if I want to take a bath a couple more times a week and pour myself a glass of wine a couple more times a week, and that helps me calm the F down for a minute, you know, like I feel like I have to be, keep myself really together and just very um, positive and like normal for my children. And at the end of the day, when it's quiet, it, I, I feel myself unraveling a little bit and I'm gonna let myself have a freaking glass of wine if I want a glass of wine. And I don't think that makes me a bad parent or a bad person or somebody who's dependent on substances. I, I'm not concerned about falling into that. I know there's a lot of people who are, and I fear, 
I really, really fear that this uncertain, like these uncertain times we're in are going to really blow up um, substance dependency problems in not only our country, but in the world. I worry about that. I've been thinking about that. But you know, use your chocolate responsibly. <laughs> and I don't mean to like joke, but we gotta, we gotta keep it a little bit light where we can. We gotta laugh where we can, but we also have to be supportive and loving of each other. And I'm doing the best I can, you guys. I'm human, I make mistakes. I say the wrong things. I do the wrong things. I buy the wrong food sometimes. I buy four pints of ice cream sometimes because again, I just, you, girl's gotta have her ice cream, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I hope this video was something to you that was good. I don't, I'm not here trying to claim I have all the answers or any answers at all. I really don't know anything. I'm just sharing how I am navigating this storm and riding it out and doing the best I can. So if you haven't been catching up with me, I've been on Instagram every day. I've been posting a ton on my stories, what I'm getting up to, what I'm doing with the kids. I've been going live every day on Instagram, not at a set time, just kind of whenever I can grab a few minutes to connect and check in with you because it just, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel so much better to feel like I'm talking to other humans. And I am the biggest introvert on the planet. Never thought I would say that those words that it makes me feel better to connect with other humans as, as you know, as an introvert, but it's true. We need human connection. So anyway, let me know in the comments what, like, what extra thing that you've purchased for yourself during this quarantine is, and you don't have to justify it. Just what you think, what you have bought that isn't an absolute, like, honest to goodness necessity. Um, definitely for me, it's the Epsom salts. I mean, ah, those are kind of a necessity. I really, honestly, I really think it is the bath bombs because I can get away without the bath bombs. And, um, did I mention this, the rose water glycerin spray? I'm not sure if I did. Uh, it's something that I use to hydrate my skin. Um, and I was running out of it. So it's just something I bought because I needed a new one. I, I don't have backups of that, that I just buy when I run out. But that it's not a necessity. I don't absolutely need it during these quarantine times. It's just something I bought. All right, I gotta get this stuff put away before stuff starts to thaw. Um, and I will vlog again this weekend, probably. Just trying to check in where I can. I'm hoping, I'm still settling, but I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna be settling this whole quarantine time. Maybe we all are. But I do hope to get back to my office, to my decluttering challenge. Um, I'm just giving myself some grace there and I hope you're giving yourself and your loved ones and everybody some grace too. Let's love each other well, okay? All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Again, sorry about the different quality, but we'll be back to regular camera use next time. And um, take good, good care, you guys. I'm thinking about you all. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.